Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Jess and today's video I'm going to be revising the goals and habits I set myself in 2023 and seeing which ones I accomplished and which ones still need some work for 2024. I'm excited to take you along with me through a step by step on how we can get our lives back together. So grab a cup of coffee, get cozy, and let's dive into it. So first, let's take a look back and see which goals we actually completed and habits that are consistent in our lives. So it looks like mostly positive habits that I've been doing every day more often enough to make it a habit. Like not looking at my phone in the morning. I've been really good on that because I used to go on it and you just scroll and you never get up. That's not a good way. I only look at my notifications and then put it down. And then you go to the bathroom. Don't pick up your phone. Not yet. That's to later after you get your coffee if you're gonna eat breakfast or not then I get stuck on my phone so maybe try not to be on my phone as much unless it's work related <laughs> and another good habit I've been keeping up with is keeping my room clean my room has never been this clean of course there's some days and sometimes I don't pick up things but eventually I'll get to it so that's a good habit of mine so another habit of mine is going to church more and growing my relationship with Jesus going to church helps that and I'm actually going tonight hopefully I can get this video done before I go because obviously that's the most important thing going to church instead of doing YouTube another thing you got to put things first what habits should be put first before others we'll get into planning like that later but now let's move on to the goals and habits I'm working on every year. It's just these things are not as consistent as I want them to be. So the first one, continue being productive and consistent. This is something I always have trouble with because I can be productive but not consistent with everything. I do need to work on my time management and balance time for things in my life. Which is why I always tell myself don't overdo myself. But it's hard when you want to get things done but you don't have endless amount of time. So recently I've been staying up late to get videos done which isn't good for my health and makes me sleep in even more the next day falling behind but I gotta remember it's normal not to be consistent when I'm the only one working on my channel I'm on myself editing everything no help one girl team because, you know, other YouTubers have big teams or at least more than one person. So I can't compare myself to them. Next was I wanted to get 10,000 subscribers in 2023 and I didn't reach that goal. But I realized that doesn't matter. Yes, sponsors like the number. But at the end of the day, it matters who watches my videos and who enjoys my content. And then subscribers will come. But I'm at 8.4k at the moment. It would be so much fun if I can get over 9,000. Yeah, about his power level. It's over 9,000! So we can celebrate and that's like one of my favorite scenes with Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. Next, let's talk about some goals and habits for my fitness and health. And I gotta say, the last two months threw me a curveball. I got sick two times, not one, two times in a row. So I was like sick for like a whole month. So I did not feel like working out or cooking. I guess you could say I became a little lazy in that department. And I haven't been as consistent as I would like to be. And I went backwards with things. So more on my fitness later, but my, you know, what I eat and stuff. I did go back to fast food, but this year I've been starting to cook more and I'm happy I am. I want this to be the best year. I mean, everyone always says that this is going to be the best year ever. Well, I'm actually being serious. I want this to be the best year ever and get more goals and habits, good habits, not bad habits. I want to get out of those bad habits. So I've been cooking my breakfasts more healthy things, lunches, dinners. You know, sometimes I'm gonna have TV dinners, but they're still gonna be healthy. That's better than having McDonald's, okay? So the next goal I wanted to do was read two books. It didn't really happen. I didn't really make time for it. I guess I'm more of a show watcher than a reader, which isn't good. I think it's a habit I wanna get out of, so consume less shows and watching. But I actually been reading the Bible almost every day or at least more often this year. So I want that to be a goal to read the Bible every day. This one's a goal I need to really work on is to get up earlier. And it started out great last year. I started getting up earlier, you know, at 8.30, had the alarm. I still have it set, but now I literally just turn it off or change it to a later time, but it's still set. 
for a year. I had 8.30. You know, it just doesn't help when I got sick. I just want to sleep in. I feel like that's a habit I need to get out of. Like today, I wanted to get up earlier, but it was so cold and I was not feeling good. I don't know if you can get a cold from the cold weather, but I did not want to get up. So maybe I'm gonna try to go to bed earlier and get up earlier, see if that helps. Eventually over time, my body will get used to it and maybe I won't be tired as much in the morning and I wouldn't have problem getting up at that point. Now I'm gonna talk about my new fitness goal with you guys. Something I'm excited for, which is good. You wanna be excited with these goals. I want to actually incorporate Pilates exercises in my workout because I'm trying not to lose weight, but increase my flexibility, balance, and strength. I just really need to do that because all the hours I spent on the laptop am very stiff. And I already tried it and I definitely felt the burn because I'm a little bit out of shape. The exercises are simple, but I feel like they're gonna be effective over time. I'm not trying to gain weight either, so this is why I like to have Protein War products after workouts for a snack or for a meal replacement, but I wouldn't have them all day, if you know what I mean. So I am addicted to their coffee. I'm almost out. I always enjoy having it in the morning and sometimes even later that day. So I definitely need to get more soon or we're gonna have some problems. So another thing I like having in the morning from them is their slender oatmeal. It tastes so much better when you put the milk in it and I'm trying to be more healthy. So that's a good option to have in the morning. Plus it has some protein and vitamins in it. So after a workout, I do like having their Slender Blend Shake. It's advertised to be for weight loss, but that's only when you have it probably as a meal replacement. I like having it as a snack post-workout because it does have caffeine and that's gonna help me stay energized for the rest of the day. Plus it has vitamins and protein. My favorite will always be the milk chocolate, but I do like trying other flavors. This one's the Vanilla Frap. And lastly, I'm gonna update you guys with the Superman blend I got my dad. He does love to have it before work for extra boost. Now that you've figured out your goals and habits for 2024, you're gonna wanna write down the steps of how you're gonna accomplish these goals. Now you're gonna figure out where you're gonna put it. Are you gonna put it on a natural journal or a laptop or your phone or both? Because it's more convenient for me to do it digitally. I feel like it's more cleaner, more organized and a lot faster. I don't know what it is, but I love to type on a natural keyboard. So you're gonna wanna type or write out step-by-step step on how you're gonna achieve your goal or habit. I wanna get in the habit of working out, so you probably wanna write like a little schedule, make a schedule every Monday or every Friday and Saturday. If that's like, if you wanna do it three times a week, do that and make time to do the workout, say before dinner, if that's what I wanna do. Cause I would, I think like, that's like the best time for me before dinner. At the end of the day, you gotta figure out what plan is gonna work work out for you. Be more specific on how you achieve something and what you want to achieve exactly. Another thing you can do is divide big goals into smaller manageable tasks. So it will make it less overwhelming and more achievable. I might do more exercises in the future, but for now I'm gonna start out with beginner friendly Pilates exercises. And eventually with time, I'll do more advanced exercises. You got cold again. Next thing you want to do, this is more towards like goals, but like set a realistic timeline. You might not want to do by the end of the year because you will probably procrastinate and say, oh, I have till the end of the year, but no, you're going to forget about it. So the next thing is stay flexible, which, you know, is going to be a lot of my habits and goals are going to be depending on what's going on in my life. So you're going to have to allow room for adjustments in case, you know, things come up, things aren't planned, you know, like getting sick, but I just have to adjust it and try to get back on it and not to be hard on myself if I don't do it, but just get back up. That's what matters. And that's what I'm doing right now. Of course, once you achieve your goal or very consistent with your habit, you're gonna wanna celebrate it. So celebrate in little ways will help me keep doing this. And I will be proud of myself for being consistent and not going backwards, which we don't want. So it's important to stay on track and have good time management. I haven't given up on my goals, but I just need more time to complete them. And with these steps, I am one step closer to achieving them. 
I just gotta believe I can accomplish it to actually do them. So a fun way to remind yourself of these habits and goals is to visually see it by making a vision board. I always like doing this every year. Make a collage of images or quotes relating to your goal or habit and print it out or save it as your wallpaper on your phone or laptop. Sadly, I'm out of ink right now, so I just made a collage on Canva. It's so cute. It could be the best one yet. So that's some of the goals and habits I set for myself for 2024 and how I plan on actually achieving them and staying on track. It's not about being perfect, but it's how we grow every year to be better and more happy while we're still on earth. If you want, share your goals with me down below. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful or inspiring, don't forget to press the like button. And if you want to see more content from me, press subscribe. And I'll see you next video. Bye, guys.